Take a look at this footage shot by spectators at an air show recently in China. So China just did something big, something that could fundamentally reshape air combat, shift power dynamics, and send shivers through the Pentagon. They just unveiled not one, but two sixth-generation fighter jets. And no one saw this coming. While the U.S. is still working on its own next-gen air dominance program, China just leapfrogged ahead, at least in terms of making a big, loud, very intentional statement. So what do we know about this mysterious aircraft? And more importantly, what does this all mean for the balance of power in the skies? Let's break it down. On December 26, 2024, while much of the West was still recovering from Christmas, China put off one of the most significant military flags in recent history. Videos start leaking online, showing what appear to be two brand new cutting-edge fighter jets taken to the sky. One of them, tentatively called the G-36, was spotted at the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation airfields. The other, a completely different design, flying out of Shenyang, home of China's second major military aviation company, two rival firms, two competing prototypes, both claiming the title of the world's first 6th-gen jet. That's a huge deal, because while the US, France, and the UK have all been talking about 6th-gen fighters, China actually put them in the air. And that sends a very clear message. So let's talk tech. Because this aircraft aren't just upgraded version of China's J-20 stealth fighter, there's something completely different. First, the G-36, this thing is huge, much bigger than a typical fighter jet, likely designed for long-range missions. It's got a tailless delta wing design, which reduces the drag and makes it super stealthy. But what's really wild? It has three air intakes, suggesting a possible three-engine configuration. That's almost unheard of in modern fighters. Then there's a second aircraft. Let's call it the J-50. Unlike the J-36, this one looks more like a traditional fighter, but without vertical stabilizers. That's a major red flag that China has cracked some serious flight control technology. It's optimized for stealth, electronic warfare, and potentially autonomous operation. Yeah, you heard that right. There's a very real chance this thing is designed to operate without a pilot. So what does this all mean for global power dynamics? For years, the US has held a firm lead in air superiority. But China has been catching up, fast. If this prototype actually enters mass production before the US roll out its own next-gen fighter, it could tip the balance of air power in the Pacific. If these jets have the range and stealth capability people suspect, they could be a major headache for the US and Allied forces. More importantly, China has been investing heavily in drone swamp, hypersonic weapons, and AI-assisted warfare. The Pentagon's worst nightmare isn't just China having a better jet. It's China creating an entire battlefield network where human pilots are outpaced by AI and advanced machine learning. And here's the thing, there's still a lot we don't know. Are these aircraft just tech demonstrators? Or is China actually planning to deploy this in combat by early 2030s? One thing is clear. Beijing wanted the entire world to see these jets. This was no accident. It was a calculated move meant to send a message. And that message? China is ready to challenge the US in the skies. So the real question is, how does the US respond? Do they accelerate their own next-gen fighter program? Do they rethink their strategy in the Indo-Pacific? And are we on the verge of an entirely new kind of air war? 